Hey YouTube, it's Michael Lambert here. I'm back once again with another reaction video. Once again, I'm reacting to Ben Dean in this video, Avocado Pizza. This is the new one that he uploaded today and I'm going to react to it right now. And if any notifications pop up during the video, I apologize and I will take care of them. Now let's get to this video. It is day three of the vegetarian challenge. That's not a challenge. And I might have already failed because I've been taking whey protein, like I mentioned. And supposedly that might not be vegetarian. There's a lot of things that aren't vegetarian that you think are. And this one blew my mind. Just maybe because I'm stupid, but I thought cheese was generally... No, I'll be honest. I thought cheese was just straight up vegetarian, but a lot of it is not. I'm pretty sure the cheese that Domino's uses is vegetarian. So I got a Domino's cheese pizza. Actually, it's not just cheese pizza. It's a pizza... Mouse water, you know. It's a pizza that I've never had before. Let's open it up. It is an avocado pizza. Oh, yeah. That's looking pretty good to me, man. Let me tell you what. This right here is a large cheese pizza with original dough with the maximum amount of extra avocados that I could add, which was five extra orders. And they cap it out on that for some reason. Five toppings total. So even if I wanted five different toppings, I could only get one order of each. This cost me about $21.50. Wow. That does not look bad. Before today, I probably wouldn't have even fathomed. Hold on, everyone. Snoopy wants some attention. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, everybody. I've been putting avocados on a pizza before, but it sounds like a really good idea now that I think about it. Let's try a slice. Shout out to uh, kimchi seasoning. And 
I made a little list. Actually, I didn't make a list, but I found a list on Tasty from BuzzFeed Tasty. 15 things that are surprisingly not vegetarian. I'm just going to go down. Hold on, everyone. I need a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, everybody. Go down this list. I... Oh, so if you are a vegetarian and you've been eating these things, shame on you. McDonald's fries. Apparently not vegetarian, at least in America. Burger King fries are vegan and as are Wendy's. Parmesan cheese. So Parmesan cheese and a lot of other cheeses, according to some, a little bit of research I did, are not vegetarian even. I knew they weren't vegan, but... They have these weird, this weird, like, enzyme in it, like, Reddit to make it... Hold on, everyone. Let me check on Snoopy. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, everybody. Fertile, I think, and that's not vegetarian, so... Next on the list, frosted pop parts. The frosting is made using gelatin, which is made by boiling animal skin, tendons, ligaments, and or bones, so that's not, what? that's not vegetarian. That's not cool. For the vegetarians. Pop tarts, you would never guess. Going along the theme of breakfast foods, frosted mini wheats are also not vegetarian. Um, it also has gelatin. Oh, so I'm telling you, these slippery vegetables, man. Uh, refried wow. beans, I knew that one because growing up, for some reason, in our house, we always had vegetarian refried beans. They're not bad, but I, don't, I think I probably didn't taste a legit refried bean in my house. It was only like at Mexican restaurants. I'm like, why are they so much better? And I guess refried beans, the good ones, are made with lard, rendered pig fat, um, pre-made pie crust. You also use lard. Flavored yogurts. Some of them, not all of them, use gelatin. Twinkies. Beef tallow, uh, why? What? I guess it could contain blood or bone marrow. Fear. Damn. All right, I was talking a big game. Oh, this is gonna be easy. I'm lucky I didn't have any freaking beer. Now this does mention protein powder, and I think it depends on the protein powder. The thing I have, I wouldn't be able to figure it out even if it was in English, but the whole thing is written in, in the Korean, and I'm not, honestly, I'm gonna keep eating protein powder and just say, you know, it is what it is, all right? I suppose the human hair can be in there though, so that's kind of weird. No. You know what this actually really needs? Hold on. This carried me through a few slices, but hot sauce. That's what I think it really needs. Wow. Mm, here we go. Processed bagels. Original Altoids. White sugar. Many regular white sugar brands use bone char. Gummy bears. And pretty much gummy everything. That's probably because of the gelatin. So yeah, a lot of things. Now just one list. Here's another list from some other site, the second result on Google. Worcestershire sauce is not vegetarian, Caesar salad, marshmallows, jello, jello cap medications, French onion soup, baked beans. Wouldn't be easy to follow a super strict vegetarian diet, I'll tell you that much right now. I'll also tell you this. So it is day three, like I mentioned, and the cravings hit last night for the first time. So the night of day two, after I ate the uh, Shake Shack, they hit me and they hit me again this morning. A very specific craving, which I'd never really get usually. I never get specific cravings for specific foods usually. It's just like, I'm hungry, I'll eat anything. But last night I wanted to specifically eat like a sausage pizza. And today, the Toyota are calling out for McDonald's breakfast. And like I said, those twangs of cravings, not just like, oh, I feel like eating, you know, this or that. It's just, you can kind of taste that flavor and that texture. You can feel it in the mouth. It's like phantom food. And like I said, I never really get those, but last night and today, I got the hankering, man. I guess ground sausage, Italian sausage, breakfast sausage. Weird. Maybe it's because I'm looking forward to that meatloaf. I'll tell you what, I am looking forward to it. 
So you would think I would have conceived of a whole menu of vegetarian friendly foods that I would eat during this whole this week long thing. But I didn't. I had some ideas though, and one of those ideas is probably crossed off the list. I was gonna do like a uh, I was thinking about doing like a cacio e pepe, some kind of pasta. But I guess Parmesan is not like a real authentic Parmesan is not vegetarian, so I guess I can't do that. I did briefly look into the Shake Shack Shroom Burger to see if that was okay, because there's cheese in it, and I guess that's vegetarian, but I don't know about the cheese they use in the fries, I didn't look that up. Um, and you know, if I accidentally eat something and you catch me, you might just have to sue me, you know? Avocados on pizza? Well, would I ever order this again? No. Never. Oh, I, I'm getting cheese pizza over this. 100% of the time, I'd rather go top and list than have avocados. I don't think they work that great on pizza. I actually think they're kind of useless. And there's much better vegetables that you could throw on there, like mushrooms. One more quick observation. I don't think this has anything to do with being vegetarian, but for whatever reason, after eating that Shake Shack yesterday, my stomach was smart and something fierce for like two, three hours. So that was a little bit strange because usually that doesn't happen. <laughs> well, there you have it. Sorry for mumbling to myself. Sorry about that, everybody. Uh, tried a new topping there on a pizza that I never had before. Glad I tried it. Not ordering it again. Learned something new today. Several new things, actually. There are a lot of people out there that are think they are following a certain diet, but they really aren't. At least not strictly, which kind of cracks me up, to be honest with you. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, y'all, I'm just getting out of here. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Wow. That was an awesome video. I give it a thumbs up, and I hope you all enjoyed this reaction video. If you're all new to my main channel or my second channel or to Ben Dean's channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Give both our videos a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell to let you guys know when we both post. And share both of our videos with your friends and family members too, please everybody. And on my main channel, we are on the road to 8,000 subscribers. And on my second channel, we are on the road to 4,000 subscribers. And please don't forget to take a look at my other videos on my channel's playlists. On both my main channel and my second channel, and give them a thumbs up. And share them with your friends and family members too, please everybody. I would really appreciate it. And please help me accomplish my goal to get 8,000 subscribers or more on my main channel. And 4,000 subscribers or more on my second channel too, please everybody. I would really appreciate that too. And please help me bring my views and watch hours up on my main channel by taking a look at my other videos that are on the two playlists. That are on my main channel. And give them a thumbs up. And share them with your friends and family members too, please everybody. I would really definitely appreciate it. And please help me bring my subscriber count up on my main channel as well. Also, please everybody, I would really definitely appreciate that too. Please everybody, please, please everybody, please, please help me out here. Please everybody, please, please everybody, please. And I'm off now, so until next time, see ya.